ladies and gentlemen now today i want to have a bit of a chat about arena in marvel contest of champions and the brand new arena system so if you're a little bit out of the loop again they recently updated the arena with the last featured champion shang chi to now have the six star champion available for the top 100 in this arena but even if you miss out on the six star again rank 101 to 500 you do get the five star version as well however now having a six star featured champion Champion, and especially like Shang-Chi who is just like so incredibly good man best champion of this year so far you know this arena was just set to be an absolute bloodbath and the cutoff for this arena ended up being just over 126 million points so again if you really wanted to get this again you needed to have like a massive roster like 72 hours to burn um, and also probably quite a few units as well in order to refresh just to make sure you you are super secure and super safe there and arena has always created winners and it's always created losers that miss out on the the champion just by a few but again it's slightly nicer now that if you don't get the uh the six star version you have the softer cushion of the five star in comparison to shards there but i still think the whole like structure of arena of just playing these mindless repetitive boring matches over and over again for 72 hours i remember doing it just years and years ago man even before i started youtube kind of wasting away my um uh, entire weekend just to get like a four star version of spider gwen and then missing the cutoff in the the what is it basic arena by literally like a couple of thousand points man i was just on the cusp there and i was so defeated i was so upset at that moment and then you know like a couple of years pass in the game and like four star spider gwen like you don't even care about it anymore <laughs> so yeah i kind of like i got to that point and kind of reached that clarity myself a couple of years ago that, you know, like, if you got the time to burn, if you really want the champion, again, it's up to you if you want to spend the time, the units, everything kind of wasting away uh, in the arena there. But uh, at the end of the day, there's, you know, featured crystals that come out. And eventually, you know, if you do keep on playing this game, you are going to get... Um, uh, hopefully the champion or something a little bit better at some point in the future again we got five star featured crystals that come out six star featured so there are a lot of opportunities to pick up newer characters as well that don't involve just you know flat out grinding monotonous matches for like 72 hours because yeah it's just it's soul crushing man and there are people at the top as well that you know they account share with like uh, guild members and kind of just pass it over so you know if you're trying to do it the honest way there are you know always people out there trying to cheat the system as well and kind of work together just have that maximum efficiency and it's just uh just in my opinion again for some people it's worth it but in my opinion it's it's just not <laughs> worth going for man it's just such a soul crushing grind and on top of that as well they've consolidated the arenas down from five to three but the grind in order to get the three star champion dude is ridiculous man that is just absolutely crazy 6.2 million i can say for the majority of progressive players if you want to pick up a um a new champion again we are very fortunate that this month uh for three star shang chi again we got the free version at the start of the month but for you know 80 percent of the champions that just is not the case so to get 6.2 million again it's fine if you're at end game well it's fine if you've got like a massive roster of five and six star champions uh but yeah these milestones man they really don't help progressing players much it seems like they've really gone in and just like doubling down um to cater to the whales on this arena and yet the four star at nine million as well which again is is good for more progressed players people with massive rosters out there but again these are these are big points to put up man these are really really big milestones and also grandmasters crystal shards uh, i mean they're better than premium ones i can say that much but at the same time as well um uh, you know, Grandmasters, Crystals, uh, they don't have the best drop rates. If these are Cavalier Shards, man, that'd be really, really spicy. Uh, but yeah, the milestones for the average player, at least from what I've heard so far and kind of listened to and seen feedback on the forums, are so much worse to grind out, man. So yeah, it just doesn't seem like an improvement there at all. And if we have a look at the basic as well, again, it's very nice that they are offering the, uh, the six-star champion um, on the basic as well to so the top 100 people. So it gives 200 people 
people every single round of arena the opportunity to get a six star if they do want to uh you know spend all of that time in arena if we have a look at the milestones as well again these ones are a fair bit better in comparison to the shang chi arena uh because it's only 1.5 million to get the three star falcon there but again it's a basic champion so it doesn't give you like all the iso and additional stuff for the duplicate uh and also 2.2 uh for the four star version so again this is uh not too bad for um uh, players that are just looking to grind and pick up a character that they don't have already there. So yeah, I'd say uh, at least in terms of the milestone structure, uh, for some of the lower milestones, man, the basic one is a fair bit better, but again, it goes very, very deep all the way up to 16.5 million there. So yeah, that is uh, a long, <laughs> long way for the final milestone. Uh, and yeah, it's just like, it seems like so much more grinding for the milestones in general. To put up like 60 million in both arenas dude that requires like a pretty expanded roster there so that's um uh, at least in my opinion pretty damn nuts on that one um so yeah overall like the arenas again i'm i'm just not a fan of arena like i quit playing arenas like two years ago just because they they were literally like killing my excitement for the game they were just so boring so uninteresting undynamic like they're just the easiest matches where you get into like this autopilot mode you know you check on suicide masteries everything's dead in like two to four combos <laughs> and then you know it's just rinse and repeat like you're trying to keep yourself like awake and engaged in the arena and it just uh it isn't my personal cup of tea it's not like a, a fun gaming experience at least in my opinion again you can do certain stuff and um uh, other YouTubers do do stuff like this where they put on live streams, you know, uh, people will watch like movies, uh, anime in the background to kind of spice it up a little bit. I know that was pretty much the only way I could get through like certain arena grinds is like, you know, getting into like a series in the background, uh, just kind of smashing it out. And again, if you've got the time to do that, if you want to do that, uh, that is something you can do. But at least from my experience as well, having both a, uh, a whale account and a free to play account, I don't feel any pressure on my free to play personally uh, to grind out arena and I think that's a really good thing about the game as well is that if you want to ignore the mode of gameplay you can ignore it uh, again there are sometimes again if you're a um a bit of a progressing player where it's it's really good to farm out some of the early milestones kind of get the units you need as well because it is one of the main uh resources if you want to just keep on pushing forward where you can get units in the game again there's stuff like login calendars and various uh, events and objectives uh, that will give you additional units in the game that you can get to get resources such as energy refills revives um so that you can you know push forward in like act six or a variant or something but again if if you just like uh, take a bit of a backseat, relax, enjoy, kind of focus on uh, becoming the best player you can, I found that you can really enjoy this game. Um uh, without arena as well but arena for many is still like you know a staple mode of gameplay that is very very tedious and a way to farm units you know if you jump into arena's farm units absolute fair play certainly don't blame you but there are many people as well uh that have just got to the point where they just do not run arena anymore just because it is incredibly soul crushing uh over a longer term period i i, I found again like you know the first couple of years playing this game dude you know i, I didn't have like two much of a problem with arena uh but again like i've been playing this game for five years now man you know i've seen it transition from like when four star rank four rank five champions were like whoa crazy beyond god tier you know you put on like a, a four star rank five showcase and people in the youtube comments would be like seeing there's no way four star rank five gameplay is practical dude can we see some three star gameplay <laughs> you know and nowadays it's like that with like six star rank three champions for example but the game always moves forward and a year from now what is um uh, valuable now and like highly sought after is always devalued uh, over a longer period of time. So you might be sweating your absolute tits off for five star Shang Chi this weekend, but in a year's time, you know he's gonna have been in the featured crystal for like three months. He'll be in the basic pool. Uh, you know you might see him out of like a Cavalier daily crystal or like a free Grandmaster crystal, or there might be some sort of like uh, event around Christmas that gives out 2021 crystals, and you might get a five or 
Marvel 6 star Shang-Chi there. So I think the most important message that I want to get across today is that Arena sucks and just like focus on playing the stuff in this game that you enjoy because that's what games are meant for. Games are meant for enjoying yourself and having fun and to me personally arena isn't fun again if you enjoy arena if you really like it if you have fun in it fair play like more power to you but personally i'm at this point in my mcoc career where i remember uh when i was like you know 21 22 like not going to parties not going out with friends not going out with my girlfriend at the time because i needed to stay in and grind arena to get four star basic champions that now are just like dropping like hotcakes man like it just seems so stupid in comparison that i literally sacrificed like weekends of my life uh, to get four star <laughs> basic champions. It just seems very, very stupid that I never had like any use for. They gave me a little bit of ISO here and there, man. But you know, I like looking back, especially with the global pandemic and kind of, you know, uh, moving on to like 27 next January, I'm like, what? what was I doing, man? What was I doing? So yeah, if I could go back in time, I would, I would have just been like, dude, screw arena, like even earlier, man, like just focus on the stuff that you enjoy and, um, uh, yeah, just kind of find fun in the game as well. So again, like, I just wanted to share my perspective, my experience, my advice. Uh, it's not right for everybody. Again, if you enjoy playing Arena, you know, go for it. Grind it out to your heart's content. But I think the main point of Arena, and I've been saying this for years, is to look at the scores that people are putting up. This is this is the process a lot of whales and spenders have. They look at 6-star Shang-Chi. Oh, how much is that? Uh, probably at least 130 million. People just go, fuck that, you know, I've got a few units. I'll pop open a few cavalier crystals sometimes they get lucky very often they don't get lucky and they're like oh you know is what is we'll just wait till he's in like the five star featured or six star featured or some sort of crystal comes out in the future and i think for the majority of people that don't want to get burnt out on this game i think that is the right thing to do uh but again it's your choice man do what you enjoy in this game and remember at the end of the day it is a mobile video game but i think about do need to make some improvements to the um uh, the milestones and kind of bring them back down to a more reasonable level uh the game is meant to be fun and not something that you feel tied to every three days uh so yeah if we could have some more improvements that'd be great uh but yeah ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts on the new arena system in the comments section below and if you did enjoy today's uh breakdown and words of wisdom uh please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated but thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day